Sometimes I don't understand whether the president I have is the one I used to sit with when he was the vice president, the big president. I don't understand whether the current president, Honorable William Samuel Ruto, is the one we used to sit in Karen and we discuss how the country should move forward, how the Huru administration has messed up the country. I do not believe it is the same William Samuel Ruto who I was sitting with when he was the deputy president. He has changed dramatically. He has become somebody else I don't even understand myself. I, in fact, don't believe I looked for votes for William Ruto. Because he is no longer the person I thought is going to be. I wanted a president who is caring. I wanted a president who is listening. I wanted a president who will put health workers and all workers in Kenya, all workers on the table, and say, ask them, what problem do you have as Kenyan workers? How can we move this country forward together as Kenyans? But the president we have today is the one who is coming to make pronunciations. I'm going to increase NHIF 2.7% for the employer and the employee. I'm going to increase 6% NHIF for the employer, for the employee. And yet in the public sector today, all public servants are covered in one pension scheme or the other. We have lab trust, we have lab fund, we have public servant supervision scheme where the civil servants belong. Why do you want to bring again 6% on top of this? NHIF is an act that establishes a pension scheme. Lab fund is established by an act of parliament. Public servant supervision scheme is established by an act of parliament. We should have been conducted and those NHIF should only apply to people who do not have a pension scheme. And not as we have pension schemes. When you look at NSSF administrative structure, the administration of NSSF takes over 50% in administration. And that is where you are saying you want us to add them 12% so that out of the 12%, 6% goes to administration. There is no pension scheme in the world that administrative costs should go above 2%. And NSSF is a ADC scheme. It means workers must be represented 50%. Employers, 50%. We therefore, as public servants, as civil servants, reject. We will paralyze the entire government. Yes. Yes. And we will paralyze from state house. Yes. yes. We will close the water in State House. Yes. We will switch off electricity in State House. Yes. And then we'll make sure nothing goes on in this country. Yes. As workers, we must be hard. Yes. We can no longer sit down, celebrate when we are being overtaxed. There is no country in the world that has prospered by taxing its public servants to the grave. When you overtax employers, you are simply chasing away investors. Yes. How then do you expect to create jobs when you are chasing out employers? We have been taxed to the level of 56%, but you have already paid 30%. When you buy anything, you have paid VAT 16%. When you go and purchase your electricity, look at it today. Electricity is taxed at 61%. If the government has run out of ideas, the economic advisors are all congrenious. They are not advising the president anymore. They have nothing to advise the president. If they only advise me, you can give the president this tax, tax, tax. Oh, you are not an economist. The responsibility that this government is giving us is now to defend what workers have. Yes. Yes. And we will defend to the last drop of blood. Yes. I'm Ham Kotayar. Mukotayari. 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 Bas, kama sirikali haijaona revolution, na imekuwa ikuomba revolution, revolution ndio hiyo hapo. We will bring it to their doorstep. Naambia wabunge. I'm telling you members of parliament to not pass that bill, financial bill 2023. If you pass that bill, we will meet you on the ground. We will make sure you don't step in those constituencies. We will make life so difficult for you. Because 
Hata nyinyi wenyewe hamna pesa. You will have been taxed already. Please parliament, the senate, we are requesting you to not pass that draconian archaic uh, I don't know even the language I can use. Do not pass that bill, finance bill 2023. Yes. We want a president who was you when you were the deputy. Hmm. Because the one we have today is not you when you are the deputy. And I'm speaking without meaning my words. I'm a member of the National Executive Council of UDA. I'm the National Deputy Chair, de deputy chair in charge of programs. That cannot stop me from doing my work. I'm employed by Kenyan workers to work for them, to defend them, and to fight for them. Yes. Sini yuvu? Yeah. Si yaundi wanalipa mimi mshara? Yeyo. Mimi silipu na chama? Mimi nalipu na wafanyaka? Wafanyakazi. Sasa, my friend, William, kama unataka vita ya wafanyakazi, tuko tayari. 